Can you imagine living three kilometers from the Gaza Strip in a community where when you hear a siren, you know you have 15 seconds to get to safety and that Hamas, a terrorist organization dedicated to your country's destruction, is sending rockets and incendiary balloons armed with explosive devices aimed at your home, your children's school, and your fields. Unfortunately, this has become a reality of life for residents of Kibbutz Alumim. Today, we're going to visit the brave people living in this border community to see how they're coping with the recent rocket and fire attacks. I've lived on the Kibbutz for 30 years. The security situation has changed a lot since then. In the first years, it was a completely pastoral and peaceful. In the last, actually, 18 years or so, since my youngest daughter was born, we've started having threats from rockets from, uh, from Gaza. When the bomb threat was becoming more and more severe, and they, the first place that was protected against bombs were the kindergartens. We can't wait until we hear a code red. We have to know what to do. We spend a lot of time preparing. And we practice with the children. They know that if there's a code red when they're on a walk, not near a building, then they cover their heads. They know to do it. Where if I'm caught between one place and the other and there's a shelter there and I can go in, then practically it's very important. <laughs> We have to provide children and families with therapeutic tools that they can then put into practice when they are in those safe rooms, that it's not just a sense of being completely helpless. Okay, what do I do? How do I cope with my stress? How do I cope with all these thoughts running through my mind? It's going to pass, it's going to pass. How do I calm myself down? And then once everything's clear, once I go outside, Again, am I okay? Is she okay? Is he okay? I'm in touch with my family. Is everybody okay? I have to get home. How do I get home? It's, it's people having to understand how to like map out their lives. We've seen that the impact has been much, much stronger on children, on families. Now we're going through 24 hours or 48 hours of 400, 500 rocket attacks. And that is something much, much harder to cope with. Consequently, uh, symptoms, reactions have also been a lot, lot harder and that's demanded from us to also rethink how we give support, how quickly we give support. What is incredible and it amazes me every time is to see people's coping skills on, uh, on how they function. So with us, it's more a question of, okay, this is a situation, it is hard, but we can cope, we can deal with it. And we also live in hope that it will end, it really will end. the Christian Embassy, you have our back, you help us. Knowing that you support us enables us to help more people, and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. To see Christians and Jews working together fills my heart, fills my soul with absolute joy and hope. We see miracles every day, but we just have to know to open our eyes to them and to appreciate them. And for me, this is a miracle. I want to personally thank you for helping protect lives here along the Gazan border. Because of your support, we have been able to donate these bomb shelters, firefighting trailers, and all-terrain vehicles to this vulnerable community in southern Israel, and help bring a sense of security to those living so close to danger. This was all made possible because faithful Christian donors have given to our Israel in Crisis Fund which enables us to respond in real time whenever emergencies arise. So please, give today as we stand with Israel on the front lines and help them protect their future in the Promised Land. Thank you for watching Encounter Israel with ICEJ. Please share this video and on YouTube, subscribe to our channel. And for our Canadian residents, you can ask for your free Canada Israel pin. To learn more about the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem and how you can be a blessing to the nation of Israel, visit icejcanada.org. We look forward to connecting with you.